we have a, a good balance of charges going on right now. And induction is the fact I'm not going to touch it. So as this rubber rod, I switched to a rubber rod, it seemed to work a little bit better, and same uh, rabbit fur, as I uh, charge up this rubber rod, once again with the electrons, uh, giving it a negative charge, uh, by, just by getting close to the electroscope, you can see that the uh, foil reacts. Now what's happening here is we have uh, somewhat close to an equal charge of positive charges and negative charges and as these negative charges on this rubber rod get close to here they repel the negative charges on the sphere on top and this causes the neg negative charges to move closer to the bottom and onto the foil so we have the attraction between these negative charges on the rubber rod come out to the end and they want to get close to uh, the positive charges in the sphere and it pushes all the negative charges that are already in the sphere down to that foil and makes the foil repel each other because they're full of negative charges. This is called induction. Induction is when I come close and I move charges around in this electroscope without physically touching the electroscope. Now, conduction is when I physically touch it and as I continue to put these on, you can see now that the foil, the electrons are on top. There's a bunch of electrons, they're all evenly spaced, but I continue to put more and more electrons on there and now the foil, it can't get close to itself because of the fact that there's all these electrons on top and there's all these electrons in the bottom and the electrons that are evenly spaced and pushed onto the foil are repelling each other uh, farther and farther apart so if I continue to put a lot of electrons on here it will continue to repel these two pieces of foil or uh, just the opposite now if I use uh, silk and I silk I can take the this is glass and this is silk. I can take the electrons off the glass and whoop, let's see. I should be able to take electrons slowly away or quickly away. It's probably faster just to go like that. To take all the electrons. Only off. my mind. <laughs> glass beads covered with copper and there's a little static electricity we've been doing static electricity labs all day and you can see these little beads kind of uh, getting caught by the static electricity and the ones that are charged they repel each other why do these beads cling to this tube and uh, why does shaking the tube make the beads cling so if I take these guys over here and I'll try to shake it around, they start to cling up here too. So just by simply shaking the beads. Now, why does just shaking this up and down create static charge? Uh, put them on here. Why do you think these beads are repelling each other? so that they're not all stuck together but they're leaving an evenly spaced uh, distribution uh, between them and why do you think these beads are so evenly spaced out? Alright, so here's a little nice little demonstration with static electricity and uh, the repulsion of these charges. Now, take a look over here. Uh, nice fluorescent light, nice electric field taking place here. 
Notice where I hold the, the light is where it glows. Uh, this one over here is uh, bluish purple. It might be hard for you to see. Can you see it? And this one over here is uh, pink. I can do them together. Uh, like this. Okay, just the perfect distance you can have it coming through here. So you can see the two the two uh, tubes going on here. Now we go with shake your with your free hand. Down. Make shake your hair. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Right. Shake it forward, no? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Look at the camera smile. <laughs> smile. <laughs> <laughs> smile. <laughs> Look at the camera smile. Alright, shh. Look at my hair. <laughs>